everyone and welcome back to another video. So I've been posting videos for about three months now and I've never done a proper introduction. So I thought in today's video I would do a quick introduction of who I am, sort of my story, how I'm building my photography business, what my plans for YouTube are, and all of that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my name is Robin Ikasaka. I originally, when I first started this YouTube channel, I was living in Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. And then at the end of June of this year in 2020, we moved from Fort McMurray Alberta which is um, if you're not familiar with Canada it is northern Alberta to the Okanagan which is a region in British Columbia so I'm originally from the Okanagan and about two years ago I moved to northern Alberta for a job and now I am back getting into my story a little bit I did not go to school for photography or for business I actually have a degree in emergency and security management and working in emergency management is what I have been doing for the past two years. So when I first started Beautifully Wonder, I originally created the website on Squarespace. This website and blog was just a way for me to sort of document and share my travel adventures. Roughly at this time, I had a lot of trips planned for 2020. I was going to Denver with my fiance for some Colorado Avalanche games. I was supposed to go to New York with my mom in April. I had my honeymoon in Hawaii in August. And I was supposed to go to a friend's wedding in the fall of 2020 to Mexico. So I had all of these travel plans and the only one I actually got to was Denver. Denver was in February and so I was able to go to Denver. However, all of my other travel plans have been cancelled because of COVID-19. After I created the website to Beautifully Wander, I created the Instagram account for Beautifully Wander. So at first I did throwback images to when I had trips to Mexico, Greece, and Denver. And then as I started moving my photography to, I guess, pursuing it more professionally, um, I started to curate my content to be more geared around the Okanagan and travel photography. When my Olympus camera first came in the mail, I then decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So I filmed my very first video, which was an Olympus camera unboxing, and I filmed it on my iPhone, cause that's what I had at the time. From there, I started to hone in on my photography more. I started to think about maybe pursuing photography more professionally. And then at basically the end of May, I decided to do it. Now you can read why I chose the name Beautifully Wonder on my website, but basically when I was a kid, my vacations in the summer were salmon fishing trips with my family. So we would go to the Pacific Coast, um, we went to Lake Banfield, uh, we went to Tofino, Putnok, and the last salmon fishing trip that I took with my family before my grandfather passed was to Tofino. So when they were at Tofino, my grandparents were staying at sort of an oceanfront cabin and when he looked out at the ocean um, he said it was beautiful so when i was trying to think of names of what to call my website and my blog at the time um, i kind of like searched um, old memories i had from traveling and i kind of just landed on beautiful uh, because it had this like really strong meaning for me and then wandering was actually my favorite activity when I travel. So I love spending the first day in a new place without an itinerary, without any plans, and just kind of wander the streets and wander the new place uh, just to see what you kind of find. So I started dabbling in photography as a hobby in like I would say the late fall of 2019. Photography was this creative outlet for me. I loved how a photograph can inspire you. It can tell a story, but for me, it's it's the emotions behind the photo. So I just loved when I would look over my old photos of Greece and Mexico and Denver and salmon fishing trips, how sometimes I would look at an image and I would almost like feel like, you know, you're being transported back in time where you can you can smell what the ocean smells like and you just remember like the laughs that you had and and like the smells and the feelings and and the like the love and so that's just why I love 
photography is just those emotions that it can bring you and those feelings that it can bring you. So in the spring of 2020, some things were happening in my life that made me seriously think about pursuing photography professionally. So for months leading up to um, me putting in my resignation at the end of May and leaving in June, I researched how to build a photography business. I researched how to market your photography business, how to, you know, create a profit from your photography business. I researched, I researched everything. I crunched the numbers. I even made a bit of a business plan. So when I put in my notice at the end of May and I left at the end of June, I was feeling pretty confident about the risk that I was taking. Now I do want to say that I would not have been able to take this risk to kind of take this leap if it wasn't for the support of my fiance. This was a big risk that we were taking. I was leaving a stable job, I was leaving a stable income, I was leaving a pretty good thing in Fort McMurray to do this wild thing of starting a photography business because it's pretty unrelated to my original field in emergency management. So I just would not have been able to confidently take the step if it wasn't for him. I know they say not to quit your day job when you are working on a side hustle or when you're trying to start your business. However, for me and what I was trying to do with my photography, I was not able to do it in Fort McMurray. Like I said, things were happening for me, um, happening in my life in Fort McMurray, that even though I had a good thing in Fort McMurray, I wasn't happy in Fort McMurray. So I would not have been able to develop this photography business in Fort McMurray. So even though I did take the risk and I did move to the Okanagan knowing that I was going to be without an income for a while, that was planned. I was mentally and financially prepared to be without an income for a little while, knowing that I was going to be developing this photography business, knowing that I had so many months of savings created, um, basically a buffer knowing that I might have to pick up part-time employment in order to pay the bills. All of this was known to me. So even though, yes, I was taking a risk, I was leaving a full income and a stable job in Fort McMurray, it was all planned for. Two things that I am mainly focusing a lot of my energy right now in, develop, in this development phase of my photography business is one, building a portrait photography portfolio. I do hope that when international travel is safe again, then I can start building that travel photography portfolio. But building that portfolio is number one for me. And the second thing is continue with research. So I have been doing a lot of research on marketing your photography business, about ways that you can create an active and passive income streams, what my fan finances will look like. I've been trying to build this YouTube channel, up my Instagram game, revamp the website, create an opt-in so I can start building an email list. So right now there's just a lot of like research and trial and error going into this like development phase. Something I didn't do very well when I was in school the first time for my degree was sort of enjoying the life I was living in and enjoying the process and not being in such a rush. I was in a huge rush for school to be over, to start my career, to move to a new city, to be older, to be more experienced. I was in a really big rush for all of these things to happen. And so now, second time around, I'm trying to be better at enjoying the process, enjoying the, the small moments, enjoying life now, and not being in such a rush to be at point B when I need to sort of just enjoy this time at point A. When it comes to learning photography, I am so far self-taught. Um, I started learning photography just by watching YouTube videos and blog posts because there's so much free content out there right now on on photography and how to learn photography. Um, in the spring, I did purchase Hope Taylor's online photography course to help with my portrait photography and I did really like that online course. I do have plans now that I'm back in the Okanagan permanently to start taking some courses at a local photography school. My ultimate vision for Beautifully Wander on YouTube is to produce photography content, but I'm really trying to figure out sort of my space on YouTube and what it is that I can talk about. 
So something I am trying really hard to do is be consistent by posting one video a week on Saturdays and it's proven to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm really struggling to figure out what topic ideas or what video ideas I should do. And so like that's the biggest struggle for me is trying to create this like content calendar for the month of like what it is that I'm going to film every single week. And so I'm still kind of like figuring all of that kind of stuff out. I would love to one day monetize this YouTube channel but right now I'm just trying hard to be consistent with my uploads and posting like one video a week on Saturdays. So I hope you got to know me a little bit better. I would love to hear about your journey and why you love photography so please comment below. If you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe. For more regular content follow Beautifully Wander on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.